The thing about the fountain is that it is so remote that you actually have to work to get there. It's not something you can just drive to and pull up in session. That's the beauty of it, it's not for everyone. Not everyone can get there. It's a sacred place in snowboarding. Every year when we go out to the fountain, it's kind of a gamble and you don't really know until you go. I do think, I do think that like Aloha is still slowly thawing and you know, and there's even parts of it that are like icebergs, but we've gone out there before when it's been, when Aloha has ha had icebergs on it. I think it might be really good actually. It's hard yeah. to say though. Totally, you never know what you get out there, right? There's some, there's some right. ice on Aloha. Yeah. yeah. It's like there's still, still some Just trying to decide what the snowpack is for the season, what the temps are, and just trying to get out there and see what it's like. Chris Gallardo is the founder. He's the one who found it. And he, he kind of kept it secret for many years, and then he realized that a space like this should be shared. I think his philosophy was just that if you can make it out to the fountain each year, you deserve to enjoy it and experience it, and then you'll stay young forever. Smoked oysters. It's this perfect pool of crystal blue water that's cradled with snow on all sides so you can get speed from pretty much any direction. It's emerald blue water. It's the coldest, clearest water you've ever seen in your life. It's literally the most perfect snowboard spot. Snowboarding is a lot of different things to different people and I think people that take snowboarding seriously and regard it as an art form will take this location seriously and respect it and I think people should. It's, a, it's one of the most incredible places to snowboard in the world.